Today's story begins in River Clan with a cat named Leopard Lear. She had been spending most of the morning speaking with the medicine cat, Springshine, asking if she needed anything. Why, yes, we're quite short on nearly everything at the moment, Springshine responded. Oh, that's not good. I'll make sure to help out. Leopard Lear responded with a smile and small nod. Thank you kindly, Leopard Lear, the medicine cat smiled back. Turning to leave camp, she practically bumped into Sparrow Feather, the deputy. Sparrow Feather, uh, have you seen our leader? She asked. He had been gone for a few days at this point. Uh, I've heard rumors that they were killed. She recently on a patrol had heard some rogues bragging about killing an important clan cat. She decided that it was finally time to tell him. I guess that means I take his place, he said with a bit of nervousness, but still fairly confident. I will support you, of course. Leopard Lear was a loyal River Clan cat, no matter who was in charge, but she had been friends with this cat for a while. He was a wonderful deputy, and he would make a wonderful leader. He pauses for a moment before looking back at her. Leopard Lear, will you be my deputy? She freezes, blinking a few times. Are, are you sure? I, I would be honored. She bows her head to him. And just like that, he jumped up onto the leader's rock. All cats old enough to swim come for a clan meeting. And just like that, cats slowly came out of dens. The medicine cat was there. River Clan wasn't as big as it used to be, just like the, you know, ripples in the water. Sometimes they were larger and sometimes they were smaller, but that was, that was okay. Our previous leader has fallen and I must take place. I appoint Leopard Lear as my deputy, he spoke as Leopard Lear proudly walked over to the smaller rock next to him. She smiled at her few but loyal clanmates. I promise to protect this clan with my life, she meows proudly. A few cats seem mildly suspicious at the sudden disappearance of their old leader, but still accept Sparrow Star and Leopard Lear. She felt a sigh of relief when Springshine spoke up. You two have brought great honor to our clan thus far. While we must surely mourn, I know our clan is in great pause. At least someone believed in her. The rest of the meeting went on like normal. It felt nice to appoint new kits to be apprentices and a few new apprentices to be warriors. Just as the gathering was ending, a strange cat just strolled right into camp. They reeked of Shadow Clan. Quickly, Sparrow Star leaped down and approached them, the rest of the warriors and Leopard Lear surrounding this cat. What are you doing here? Sparrow Star asked. You are not allowed to be here, Leopard Lear hissed. This rogue seemed to just walk past them, not even understanding what they were saying. So she let Sparrow Star handle it and turned to her clanmates. Who would like to go on patrol? She asked. Ghost Tail, a pretty white and gray colored she cat spoke up. I would. Just as another warrior, Briar Creek spoke up. Same here. Surge Stone, who was the largest, walked up and looked like he also wanted to go. So she nodded. The three of you can go. I'll stay with Sparrow Star in case he needs help. Looking back at Sparrow Star, 
seemed like he had convinced this strange cat to leave and not come back. At least she didn't seem to be a threat. She left gladly, Sparrowstar sighed. As the two spoke, Leopard Lear couldn't help but feel a little nervous, and she finally spoke up. I'm worried about the lack of kits, sir. The leader was silent for a moment before locking eyes with his deputy. I am as well. Before they could continue, the patrol was back. Ghost Tail, who was usually a quiet cat, spoke up. I brought back some chevrolet. Leopard Lear looked back at Sparrowstar. Oh, hopefully the clan will have some soon, she whispered before looking over. And Springshine had joined them. You have been an immense help, Ghost Tail. Thank you. Leopard Lear smiled. It was so nice to see her warriors and medicine cats getting along. Even if she was only the deputy, this was her family. Sparrow Star added, Kit season is just around the corner. It'll come eventually. She nodded respectively before taking a few steps. I'll be doing some evening hunting and we'll be back. She smiled and brushed past Sparrow as she left. She managed to catch a few fish and even found some time for sweet spring shine. Thank you, this will assist our clan. And congratulations on becoming Deputy Leopard Lear. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, it was unexpected. Well, I certainly am not surprised. Springshine responded. Leopard Lear smiled as Thunderbranch entered. Am I intruding? Followed by Breer Creek and Surge Stone. No, no, welcome, the medicine cat spoke. Leopard Lear smiled as she watched her clan all work together. I should get going, she said as she headed out. She had asked to speak privately with Sparrow Star. She couldn't admit that she had started to get some feelings for him. I have something to say, she spoke calmly. He laid down to get comfortable. Go on, he said when Ghost Tail approached. Sparrow Star, her voice seemed a little panicked. Well, I have always had feelings for y She pauses quickly as Ghost Tail speaks and Sparrow Star leaps to his paws. She quickly joins him. Wind Clan apprentices would like to speak to you, Ghost Tail says, walking off. Before Sparrow Star could even speak, she quickly walks over to the two smaller Wind Clan cats, eyeing them. What could they be here for? But Sparrow Star sits down and smiles with a friendly smile. Hello. The medicine cat also here. It made Leopard Lear feel better knowing that Springshine was here just in case, you know, they maybe looked sick. The last thing they needed is sickness running through the camp. But her mind was brought back to reality as one of the apprentices spoke. We would like to join your clan. After a few moments, Leopard Lear looked over at Springshine. Springshine, do you need an apprentice? Well, when a willing cat comes along, it would be nice to teach another medicine cat. Well, maybe one of these two will be able to help you, she said, as the two little apprentices scuttled off to find a den to sleep in. It was in the middle of the night at this point. Leopard Lear was about to turn around to go to her den when Sparrow Star stopped her. You were saying? She shyly avoided eye contact. N nothing. I should uh, get to bed, 
she said before quickly running off. Once in the safety of her own den, she curled up on her well-worn mossy bed. She deserves some sleep. Time continues to, well, go on, and some moons pass. Nothing very interesting happens to the clan as a whole, but somewhere deep down in Leopard Lear, something was happening. She was starting to develop a crush, and it was leading her to some nights sneak out of camp, and tonight was one of those nights. Leopard Lear easily managed to leave the camp and quickly made her way over to Shadow Clan territory. She hid in a bush as a few Shadow Clan cats passed her. Thankfully, they didn't see her. They weren't the smartest group of cats, but still, she had a reason to be here. A cat she had grown up seeing was now leader of Shadow Clan. This cat was Noise Star, a dark coated tom, and Leopard Lear was just so infatuated with him. She would sneak over to Shadow Clan and just watch. She knew it was wrong because they were different clans, but she would never say anything about it, so it was fine, right? But before she realized, day was already breaking and everything around her was illuminating. Oh no, she had to get back. Usually Sparrow Star held morning announcements just to, you know, get everyone on the same page. Oh, Sparrow Star, he was a great leader, but oh, she didn't want to disappoint him. Running back, she managed to scoop up a bundle of yarrow, leaping over rivers and making it back to camp just in time. Sparrow Star was sitting atop of his rock, but hadn't started the meeting yet. Thank goodness. She had time to drop off the yarrow to Springshine, who seemed like she was helping one of the apprentices. Leopard Lear couldn't help but smile, but her attention was quickly turned as Sparrow Star began to speak. Leopard Lear quickly jumped up on her little rock and looked out at her clanmates. Everyone began to gather. We welcome our new apprentices, such as our medicine cat apprentice, Echo Paw, and Sapphire Paw, will be mentored by none other than our deputy, Leopard Lear. Leopard Lear looked around in shock, meeting eyes with the once wind clan apprentice. She walked over and gently booped their nose. And with that, the meeting is dismissed, Sparrow Star said, turning around to focus his attention elsewhere. Leopard Lear padded over to Springshine. Seems like we both have our paws full now with apprentices. They chatted for a few moments before she looked at Sapphire Paw. Let's go on a patrol. Leopard Lear easily guided the smaller apprentice across the rivers, showing them the easiest places to jump at. She even explained that they usually try to bring back herbs for the medicine cat while on patrol. Kind of a two fish with one uh, swipe, if you, you know how the saying goes. <laughs> The two cats continued to stroll around their territory. Leopard Lear couldn't help but just bask in the sunlight and the warmth. She loved River Clan so much. It was truly the best clan. Leopard Lear made sure to stop and explain that the two legs live a little bit that way and it's best to avoid them at all cost. The small apprentice looked around wide-eyed and simply nodded before running over and picking up a few marrow leaves. Is this Yarrow? Sapphire Paw asked. Leopard Lear thought a moment. Yes, I, I believe so. Would you mind bringing some? Thank you. It was nice. 
She never got to be a mother, and having an apprentice around hmm, just set off something maternal in her. Leaping up onto a dead, fallen tree, she jumps up onto the highest area. This is a good lookout spot. You can see a lot from here. Sapphire Paw followed. Mm-hmm. And the two of them began to walk back to camp. Sapphire Paw immediately ran over to the medicine cat den, looking around at where to put it down. You can drop it here. Good job. That's all for today, she said, before walking over to Sparrow Star, who was lounging on his usual rock. Finished Dawn Patrol. Everything looks good, Sparrow Star, she spoke. Well done, Leopard Leader, he purred, leaping down and giving her a gentle shoulder bump. Do you need anything else? I was thinking about a hunting. I'm okay. You do whatever you want. You deserve a break, he says before turning around and leaping back up on his rock. Leopard Leader nodded. I'll be back, she said before leaving the camp. She spent the most of the evening walking around and memorizing where different herbs were. She spent a little time hunting and just generally enjoying the day when she suddenly began to pick up scents of different clans. Running in the direction of the scent, she managed to hear the word traitor. I guess you could say that. She couldn't really pick up what these two cats were saying, so she crouched and crept forward. One smelt of shadow, and the other thunder? One of them claws at the rocks. Get lost! She puffs up and walks over. Definitely, they were two different clans. Thunder Clan doesn't take traitors! The other cat looks nervous. Leopard Leer just wants to know what's going on. What is Shadow Clan and Thunder Clan doing so close to our camp? She yowled. The Shadow Clan cat spoke up. I'm in Shadow Clan, idiot. And suddenly another Thunder Clan cat approached. Leopard Leer began to growl. I said Shadow Clan and Thunder Clan. What is Shadow Clan doing so close to here anyways? These cats were all bickering back and forth. Apparently the Thunder Clan cats were trying to get rid of this Shadow Clan cat and the Shadow Clan cat was leaving their clan. Oh, if you're interested in joining, follow me, but if not, please leave. The Thunder Clan cats managed to leave and the Shadow Clan cat seemed like he was following her. She was very suspicious, but wanted to make sure Sparrow Star could see him first, whether they should attack or let this ex Shadow Clan cat in. She led him over to her leader, who immediately picked up on the strong scent walking over. Sparrow Star, I found this ex Shadow Clan cat. She said, as a very matter of fact, Sparrow Star looked the cat up and down. Uh, hello. They seem to want to join. I'll let you handle it, she said before casually walking off. She knew that Sparrow Star could handle it, and she wanted to make sure the rest of her clan was doing okay. Everything seemed to be perfect in the clan. There were no problems, until she almost stumbled over something. Looking down, it was a small kid she didn't recognize. Tilting her head, she questions. Hello, kid. Quickly, Sparrow Star was walking over. The kid mumbled, Oh, uh, hello. It seemed startled. What are you doing alone? Where are your parents? She asked. It didn't necessarily smell like an enemy clan, but eh, she didn't recognize this kit. Leopard Leer, Sparrow Star, 
a ghost tail and a few other clan cats all sort of look at this kit puzzled as the scene fades to white. You now see a familiar cat sitting in front of you. This cat is Little Sprout. Hi guys, it's Little Sprout. And um, I know, okay, so this episode, it's a little slow. Um, this series is very long. This, I already have all of this recorded. This was a random, not planned role play. Um, this episode's a little slow, but I promise the plot gets better. And at the end of this, I am going to have everyone crying. That is not a promise. That's a threat. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this episode regardless. I think little slice of life role plays and stories are actually very wholesome. And I wish we had more of it in the canon series. So that is what I'm providing. If you like this, please um, subscribe. I post stories like this all the time. I have many series planned and stuff. Leave a comment. Who's your favorite character? What do you think of Leopard as a deputy? What do you think of Sparrow? You know, what's what do you think? And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.